All right, coming to the stage next, we have Katie Kimball. My husband, Chris, had 12 inches of intestine removed two days after college graduation. Crohn's disease. We worried about our four kids since before they were born that they would inherit that lovely little gift. But it still took me 10 years to start really getting it right to protect them. When my oldest, Paul, was 10, I sent him to school with a chef's knife. Well, actually, I had to bring it in, school rules. He was showing his fourth grade class homemade guacamole for a how-to speech. And as I watched him thwack that pit out of the avocado with the chef's knife, I hear all the adults in the room go, <gasps> and I was actually holding my breath, too. Like, what are you doing, Katie? I knew real food would save our kids' health. But it hit me. The only thing Paul could make was guacamole. For six years, as a food blogger, I had been teaching adults all over the world to cook, and somehow, I'd forgotten the most important people in my world. Paul, his sister Leah, John, little Gabe. Chris and I knew we couldn't change their genes, but we could choose their diet. And we could give them the capacity to do it for themselves. That was the day I became a kid's cooking teacher. Like most of you, I wasn't raised on real food. I grew up eating hillbilly bread. I can't believe it's not butter, this stuff. And my mom's homemade spaghetti sauce started with two cans of Campbell's tomato soup. So I wasn't really taught to cook. I get it. All those parents were gasping that day because they're all sneaking the steak knife away from their kids at Outback. Those other fourth graders probably couldn't even cut an apple. And that is the food crisis in America. Because while functional medicine is so good at finding root cause, I'm saying we have to go deeper. I call it the root of the root cause, and it's the habits our children are forming in childhood. If we want to choose health care over sick care and actually start preventing future chronic disease in adults, we have to teach kids to eat right and get them in the kitchen. Now, whether your specialty is heart disease, diabetes, IBD, hormones, anxiety, whether you work with kids or just adults, your adult patients, clients, and readers have kids or grandkids with similar genetics. And on that same standard American diet, they're headed in the same terrifying direction. Today, one out of every three high school kids are obese or overweight. And they will be packing your waiting rooms in 20 years because of the choices they're making today. We know obesity leads to type 2 diabetes, up 30% in children in the last 10 years. Same 10 years, depression, up 40% in children. If we believe food is medicine, we have to stop waiting for a diagnosis before we do something about it. It's time for functional medicine to expand the mission of treating the whole person into nourishing the whole family. Because kids' diets are the real root of all your root causes. You know how hard it is to get your patients, your adult patients, to stick to a grain-free or a plant-based or a fasting-mimicking diet, right? But what parents often won't do for themselves they will do for their kids. What if your appointments included family sessions? You're telling the kids, mommy and daddy need to eat this way because they don't, so they don't hurt, so that they can have enough energy to take care of you, and you would need to eat this way too, and here's why. What will be said in 50 years that sets functional medicine apart from the allopathic model? It's going to be us coming together as a community, and not only focusing on fixing those sick people, but truly on lifting up the health of this American culture. Teaching kids to cook really works. Dr. Hyman's Ultra Wellness Center integrates my cooking class, Kids Cook Real Food, in their pediatric resource kits. Because they know getting kids involved in cooking makes a real difference in their healing. In my own family, my kids cook dinner every Sunday. And a couple of months ago, I came home from volunteering. My daughter, Leah, greets me at the door like, Mom, we didn't even know what we were doing, and we didn't have a recipe, and we just made some homemade sausage and put some peppers and onions in a pan, and we, like, made up breakfast burritos, and everybody loved them, but, Mom, there's none left for you. <laughs> Isn't that our goal? To have none left. None left in our waiting rooms. None left on our waiting lists. If I have my way, 
The future of functional medicine is no patients battling chronic disease left for any of us in this room because we got to the root of the root cause and helped kids cook real food.